Good morning on Thursday, post-budget, and the B word is what is dominating newspapers today. The business day, let's start there. Near net targets, the fiscal gap, power crisis can cut growth, no mention of selling assets, and personal tax to rise. Also on the front page, the judge to lead a review into SARS governance. Finance Minister Ntlantla Nene has appointed Judge Frank Kruen to review SARS's governance arrangements. Built this morning has a nice graphic on the front page, uh, different graphics telling you exactly what is going where and how much is going up. 3.1 uh, billion for education, 15 cents more for a 750 ml bottle of wine, 1,410 rand a month if you are a state pensioner, 82 cents more for a packet of 20 cigarettes, 41% is the new tax rate for the riches of the rich 80.5 cents fuel levy that will come into effect on the 1st of april and two cents per kilowatt hour that is the increase for electricity according to the build which says start circle yay hoos pretoria news says budget blues for sa up goes personal tax fuel levies, electricity cost, duties on booze and smokes. The Times has been very creative in the way that they want to tell us how much more we're going to pay. It says, taxed to death, that's us, middle class bludgeoned as Nene raises personal tax, fuel levies and transfer duties. Then the Sowetan is saying Nene's mixed bag, small tax relief for those earning below 450,000 Rand, education, health and jobs get more of the budget pie. Although the star says the tax blow and it says trims for education and health, also high earners will have to pay 1,105 Rand a month more on tax, 21 Rand a month more for low end workers and more pain for smokers and drinkers be used to that. Finally, the citizen this morning has pay back the money in black on its front page uh, with the whole budget 2015 layout. And then in the masthead, a photograph of that bus yesterday that crashed over the Queen Elizabeth Bridge in Bramfontein. Still a very interesting story. Also in your newspapers today, an unusually uh, increased amount number of ads for anything from cars things that you need, that you don't need, alcohol, hair products, the list is endle endless. So uh, apparently what you need to do this weekend, it is payday weekend, maybe you should go and stock up because from the 1st of April, all of these increases will kick in. And some of the newspapers also have this lovely guide, the People's Guide to Budget 2015. So pick up yours, there's one in English and in Afrikaans. Enjoy your budget reading this weekend.